Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome back to Vespa 5! Yay! Alrighty, <laughs> so, um... Maybe today I'll stop bitching about shit. Yeah, I've been bitching for the last couple of days. Well, you know what? I got reasons to bitch. Um... Anyway... Sunday, so I can open my windows now. And I, I don't feel bad about it, because I'm here all day, and I can... You know, just relax with the window open, that, that's fine. Tomorrow, of course, I'll be working all day and I want to have a close and they'll be bitching at me and you just close the window and I'll be like, well, I don't want to get shit stolen. Anyway. <laughs> Enough about that. Let's talk about, let's talk about a more happy topic. Um, so, uh, yesterday I went to, um, I, I, as I've mentioned, I've been looking for, um, you know, for video games. Uh, I've been looking for Evangelion video games, specifically. Still a couple on my list that I need to, um, get down. Now, I did... Did I talk about... I think I did talk about that. Did I talk about that? Shit, I don't even know if I did talk about that. I think... I think... Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, if I just tell the story again, it's, it's fine. Um... But I, um, a while back, I was, you know, looking for the Evangelion games, trying to find Girlfriend of Steel 2, because uh, I really want to play that, um, you know, for the year of Evangelion next year. Um, and I've been unsuccessful to find it. I found it, no, did you find it somewhere? No, I didn't. So I went to this store, and usually stores are kind of overpriced. Uh, well, I say overpriced, it's overpriced for Japan, it's actually a little bit better than normal in Australia. It's probably cheaper, the cheapest, yeah, cheaper than what you could get in a brick and mortar store in Australia. Um, anyway. Um, but, you know, compared to, like, the other, you know, stores, it's fucking expensive as shit. Anyway, um, but I've, I've checked in the, uh, I think I did mention this, because I brought my, um, I brought a PS1 memory card there, because that was the only way I could find one, I had to pay, like, fucking 20 bucks or 10 bucks for it. It's a bullshit amount of money. Um, but I had to do it, so I did it. Um, anyway. Well, you could have... I could have grabbed one when I was in Australia. Yeah, I know, but I wanted to play fucking PS1 games now. Fuck you. Anyway, back to my story. Right, sorry. So, this store is closing down. And I, I saw this, like, little, like, um, sale signs all over, like, the windows. Like, covering the outside face of the store. I'm like, shit, this is probably something I should get in on. And I didn't, for a long time. And then I checked it out, I don't know, a week ago, two weeks ago? Whenever I talked about it, that was whenever I did it. Um, I was so happy about the experience. I was, I was furious and happy. So I went in there and there was, there was like, there was all these games. There were, um, PS1 games for 10 cents. Well, 10 yen. Basically 10 cents. Um, unfortunately there was only one that was worth getting and I bought it. Um, there were PS2 games there for 100 yen each. Um, I grabbed a couple that, that were, like, like, were interesting for me, and I left the rest. Hindsight, shouldn't have done that, because uh, of today's story. But, um, I also found this rack of PS1 games. There were PS3 games there, too, that were, like, what, 500 to 1,000 yen? Well, some of them were that cheap. Other ones were, like, full price. Um, and I got, what, I got Azure's Wrath? Yeah, I got Azure's Wrath for like five bucks. Uh, anyway, there was this rack of PS2 games, and they were all like really high prices. There was one there that was like 8,000 yen, which is like 80 bucks. I'm like, what the fuck? And I found Girlfriend of Steel 2, and it was there. And how much was it? It was $27. Fuck! That's expensive! Shit! <laughs> Shit! Um. But I, I asked the guy, uh, I'm like, is this really the price? He's like, no, 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 it's, it's half price. Oh, so it's really like, what, 15 bucks or something? Or just under 15 bucks? He's like, yeah, okay. Can you do it for a thousand? Yeah. Sweet, done. Alright, so I got it for 10 bucks. So I got the game now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll be able to play that in time. I'm going to play the first one first. Well, I'm going to do all this next year, so. I'm just putting them in storage for a later time. <laughs> more or less. Anyway, and then, and then, you know what happened? <laughs> you know what happened? Next day, 
I was in another part of town and I found some other shops. I'm like, oh, I haven't checked these ones out yet. Let's check them out. And I'm like, well, wait, what? You think Gilling Games do want to get that? Well, there's a couple. Yeah, but you know what is going to happen? You're probably going to find a fucking girlfriend of steel too, and it'll be cheaper. Guess what happened? Fucking found girlfriend of steel, and it was five bucks! Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. The point. Oh, no. Actually, no, was it? No, it was the same price. That's right, sorry. No. Was it the same price? Or was it cheaper? I can't remember. I can't remember. Maybe it was a little bit cheaper. It was a little bit. It was a little bit cheaper. It wasn't five bucks. It was like, I had nine dollars or something. But it was like a special edition. It came in a, like a little box and it had like a book, or like a comic book that came with it. I wanted it. Ah. Oh, deal with it, son. Yeah, I'm dealing with it every day. But then I, I got to think. I'm like, I took that guy down. Like, like I got a really good deal for that game. If I just bought, like, just a fuck ton of these PS2 games, the ones that were like 100 yen, I just say, you know what? I'll buy them all for like, uh, 10 bucks. He'd probably go for it. I went back there, unfortunately, all, most of the games were all gone. I'm like, fuck! I could've got, there, there were some decent games in there that I was kind of interested in, and I could've got, like, so many more games. But what I did do is I just grabbed one of everything. Uh, well, some of them were, well, there, there were duplicates, of course, I didn't get those, but there were also some that were, like, just new, older versions of the same game. So I got the newest version, I got one of everything, just grabbed them all in the pile, and said, how much for these? I think, I think there was 14, 13 games, no, there were 14 games that I picked out. Um, uh, a couple of the games, I, he told me, uh, you can't get this, well, you can get them, but do you have a microphone? Because you need a microphone for this game. Oh, shit, okay. To be fair, I'm sure a USB microphone would have worked. Yeah, but I wasn't gonna. And there was another game that you need a special controller for, and that wouldn't have worked. Which I saw that, I saw that game with the controller in another store, and it looks really interesting, and I might get it. I think it was $100? I mean, 100 yen? Maybe it was 200 yen. I can't remember. I might get it. I might pick that up. Because it, it had a special PS2 controller with a mic built into it. And it's like this sandboxy game where you've got to, like, play with this weird, like, it's like a baby, but it's got, like, a human, like, a, an adult face on it. And you're going to, like, talk to it, and, like, it's weird. It's a weird. Yeah, the game's called The Seaman 2. And I think it's supposed to be kind of like semen? You mean the DC comic? No, I mean the spam, no. I mean, like, the sea monkeys. Sea monkeys. That's... whatever. You know what I meant to say. Uh, yeah, so it's like... It's basically... It's basically a pet game. But it's like a... Chibi sort of thing with a... Uh, adult man's head on it. Uh, an adult man's bald head on it. Yeah, because it's a baby. It's weird. Anyway, I, I wouldn't mind playing that, even though I have no idea what it is. Um... <laughs> anyway, so I got all these games. And what they were similar, they were 100 yen each, right? Well, they should have been. And I'm like, how many games we got here? We got 15 games. How much? How much can I ask? I would really like to get them for 10 cents each, but they probably won't go for that. We got 50. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and I went, all right, how about a thousand yen? That, that's pretty good. And he's like, yeah, all right. I'm like, how about? So I, I, I first thing, I fucked up. Right? Like what I do when I play arena, and I'm bargaining. I, I go too high <laughs> at the beginning. You're supposed to start low, and then wait, and then he goes no, and then you work your way up to a price that he agrees to. Whatever. But guess what I did anyway? And this proves that this guy was desperate to get rid of these games. Cause I'm like, how about 900 yen? And he's like, yeah, yeah, all right. I'm like, how about? 800 yen. He's like, yeah, and I'm like, done. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force yen anymore. 800 yen. Let's do this. So I got like 13 games, for eight bucks. Fucking steal. Hey, they were, most of them are shit. Who gives a fuck? They were eight. They were eight bucks. I got some friggin'. I haven't even looked at them since I bought them. I got this one game. It's a, it's a friggin' American football gridiron game, but it's like anime themed 
or something. I was really tempted to get like, a, I really wanted to get, um, they had a whole bunch of soccer games. Um, and I really wanted to get like a Japanese version of Pro Evolution Soccer because um, Blackjack loves it, loves Pro Evolution. And, and I was a, a, a fan of, of soccer games too. And I want to just buy it and get them like, like I hate sports games, but I would want them to play it. I would want them to force them to play the game in Japanese and just see how, how far they can get. Probably pretty far, because, you know... Well, no, really, because you've got to navigate fucking menus, and the menus are all in Japanese. Like, once you're in the game, you can figure it out, but getting to the fucking game, that's the hard part. Especially if you're doing, like, a championship mode, or, like, a team management mode. How the fuck are you going to handle stats when they're all in fucking Japanese? You don't even know who the fucking players are, because the names are all in Japanese. That'd be fucked, dude. That'd be great. There was a FIFA game there, but I didn't know... I don't know how good they are with FIFA. Um, and they had a whole bunch of J-League games. Which is, J-League's like the, the Japanese, like, soccer league here. And they probably don't know shit about that. Um, but, you know, I got some games. I'm probably never going to play them, ever. I, I've still got the game. i still got games that I bought when I first bought the PS2. Because uh, I went to the local game store and games were like a dollar each. And I thought this was the best thing in the world. So I bought everything. Like, I bought these, I bought tons of games. I say tons, it was like eight. But that was all I had. For a hundred. Like, I wasn't going to pay any more than a hundred yen. But I bought the cheapest things that I got. And in hindsight, it's not the cheapest you can get them for. <laughs> I mean, I just proved it here. That being said, I haven't actually seen a PS2 game for less than a hundred yen. Yes, but there are much better games for the same price. Yeah. Um, anyway, and maybe one day I'll play all these games. <laughs> maybe. Probably won't record them, because what's the fucking point? But, you know, I'll play them at least. Um, so that was, that was my, that was my day. That was my Saturday. Uh, well, apart from working, of course, I work on Saturdays, but hey. Anyway, um, so, um, right now I'm probably gonna go and, I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna play them. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop recording and play, I don't know, something not that. <laughs> play some more Metal Gear. <laughs> The games that you've played like a bazillion times already. Yeah, play some more of that. <laughs> We're gonna play some more on emotion for next week. Yeah. That's right, did I mention that? You did you did mention, yeah, it's on emotion next week. Yeah. So on emotion next week guys. Um also in case you missed it, yesterday was um what should I call it? Day. I totally forgot to mention. It's um it's shut up and play Sunday. Yeah, so talking. Yeah, so. It happens, dude. Get over it. Right. We're going to do a live action thing. I don't... Okay. Most of the live action things that I did up, I recorded on the same day. And it was the... And I had been wanting to do that for a long time. I wanted to, I wanted to do those scenes of Snatch for... I, I don't know. When did I buy these, these guns? I think I hinted at buying them. Like... Oh, in, in one of the... In, in one, it wasn't even Vespa 5. It was before I started Vespa 5. It was back when I was doing blogs in Arena with the, the horse running during the whole thing. Yeah. And I hinted at buying something. I didn't want to spoil the beans because I didn't really know if I'd ever get a chance to record it. There was one day where everyone was out and like, fuck it, let's do this. And I went out and I recorded it all. Um, and I'm probably not going to get a chance to do that for a long time. There is one more, like, movie scene that I would like to act out, but I kind of need some stuff for it. I need foliage, and unfortunately there isn't a lot of foliage around my house, especially now that the father-in-law went and cut all the trees down. Like, just mowed them all down. Like, our, our house used to be kind of hidden by, like, trees in the front yard, which isn't an ideal place for me to, you know, do scenes where I'm holding that giant shotgun. Um, because that would freak the neighbours out. Um, but, um, our house used to be kind of hidden, and that was nice, and now it's just, like, the trees are, like, cut right down to the base. And the house is just sticking out like a sore thumb, so I'm now I'm really more worried than ever about someone coming in and stealing shit. Anyway, um, I'm about out of uh, things to talk about. But well, yeah, what I wanted to say was, yeah, I do want to do some more live action stuff, but I'm just, I just don't have the time. 
The only, th the only thing I can do is do like live action stuff in my room, which is kind of boring. <laughs> like I did the unboxing in my room, I did the face reveal in my room, but there's not there's nothing there's nothing in here. It's a tight, tiny little room. It'd just be me sitting on the couch holding a gun. I guess I could talk about the guns, but I don't know. Maybe I might do something. But um, I, I also at the same time I really want to get through these Vespa fives. I want to finish Vespa five. And then we're going to completely revamp, relook at the way that we do these arena videos. And by that I mean not do arena videos every day. <laughs> what I mean by that is, let's say today, well, like I, ch I checked the video too, and we should arrive in the next town on the 12th, I think. Yes, the 12th of October. Um, and in in the future, in the future world of my YouTube channel, um, we just won't be doing videos every day. And then on the 12th, we'll jump on Arena, we'll do a video, and we'll have fun in Arena on the 12th. And then if we fast travel, and it takes X amount of days, then I just won't do Arena videos. And instead, we'll put up some other videos, maybe some videos that people have been asking me to do uh, for a while, maybe uh, do some things in said videos that people have been asking me to do. Uh, like Onimusha Soul, for example, people have been bitching at me for not uh, doing the quest, so maybe I'll actually get in there and do the quest. Uh, I will do quests next week, I promise. Uh, I might not do a lot of it, because you know how I am. But after next week, I promise, if I do more of Arena, if, then I will certainly focus more on the quest rather than stupid like town building and and also the what I thought was um what, what I thought was missions or quests which is actually just the tutorial maybe I'll actually finish that fucking tutorial um but uh, I, I want to you know do some more questing do do some questing <laughs> well do some more after you know next week anyway uh anyway tomorrow we'll be moving to the right as you can see we'll be dodging that um plants if I'd gone down uh, and popped up at the, the, the bottom there. Um, I'd be running straight to that plan, but of course the bottom rate's slow anyway. So, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll be able to, this is the only time that there's a chance that you'll, like, touch an artifact. Pretty much. Like, all the other artifacts are either out of the way or you have to intentionally run into them. But uh, this one is totally there. Well, I guess there is the one that's to the right of the screen now. On the, on the top, on the level that I'm on, but, yeah, whatever. In any case, um, well, if you had gone the lower route, yes, but if you'd gone the lower route, you would have been, yes, but if this was your first playthrough, yes, but why I'm trying to, I'm talking about doing the speedrun, okay. It's really weird calling this a fucking speedrun, I know. <laughs> I know, but whatever, fuck it. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow, on Monday, and uh, we'll do, um, talk about something else, I guess. But for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you guys next time.